Arthur Omer Chadwick Walton blasted his second turn of the cup, a solid 105 to help take the Jamaican Scorpions to 264 for 8 from 50 overs. Guyana faced a stiff target under some murky weather, which nearly worked against them. With two wickets apiece, hemorrhage and franchise player Ramal Lewis were the two main wicket takers bowling for Guyana. Batting first, Jamaica had quite a number of starts, including some fireworks early on from Guyanese Trevon Griffith and Stephen Taylor, who failed to convert their scores. With a revised target of 212 runs from 40 overs, the Jaguars got off to a flyer thanks to openers Hemraj and Tejan Ryan Chandapal, who added 68. The Jaguars then lost a few wickets in the middle passage before in form all rounder. Barnwell grafted his second 50 of the tournament, a patient 56, to help stabilize things for Guyana. All rounder Ricardo Adams, who ended unbeaten on 19 of 35 balls, sealed Guyana's place in the semi finals with a boundary. As off spinner Pete Salmon worried the Jaguars during his spell of four wickets for 28 runs. The Jaguars finished Group B's war on top with 26 points from their eight matches, with six wins and two losses. Their quest for the elusive double seems a bit closer as they prepare for their semi final match set for February 22nd against the Group A runner up Trinidad and Tobago Red Force at Coolidge in the day night encounter. Defending champs Barbados Pride qualified for the semi finals after topping Group A in Barbados and will take on either Kent or the Jamaica Scorpions in the other semi final on February 21st, also at the Coolidge Ground. Meanwhile, the finals of the tournament is set for February 24th.